on a sad story that we've been following most of the day, the death of Dr. Laura Berman's teenage son. Yeah, the TV host and her husband say that he accidentally overdosed on drugs that he got through Snapchat. WGN's Patrick Elwood has more on the story for us tonight. Patrick? Ray and Micah, good evening to you. Dr. Berman and her husband are speaking out. They said they had no idea. They were totally clueless about the dangers of Snapchat, and they're speaking out only days after their son dies so that the same thing does not happen to your son or daughter. It was Super Bowl Sunday, and 16-year-old Samuel Chapman was in his room playing on the computer. He would soon be dead. One minute at a time. Uh, one breath at a time. Nationally known relationship expert Dr. Laura Berman is Sam's mom. I found him on the floor, non-responsive, and Sam started CPR while I called the ambulance and the um, the uh, paramedics tried for 30 minutes to revive him and weren't able. What they soon learned was Samuel was experimenting he had ordered drugs from a dealer on Snapchat. They believe he wanted just Xanax, but it came laced with fentanyl. If you touched fentanyl with your finger, that's enough to kill you. Hmm. And um, these things are being assembled in labs in Mexico and then ferried across the border and dumped into our cities. And we had no idea that Snapchat was a way that fentanyl could get to our child the couple readily admits they were clueless about what kids can get on Snapchat. I had no idea that there were drug dealers on there. Berman and her husband, Sam, appeared on WGN Morning News. Snapchat is designed as the dark web for children. With a message to unwitting parents like them. A dealer who delivers reached out, colorful menu, kids channel, and found a bunch of kids. In fact, we were contacted by a 14-year-old's mother who's in the hospital right now here and saw the same menu. And they say that the social media giant is completely uncooperative. Give us access to our children's snaps, not make them dissolve. And they need to cooperate with law enforcement when a son like ours passes yeah. away. All they'll do is take a profile down and they won't help the local police find the person or say what's in the profile. So this mother and father obviously grieving, again, sharing their pain as a, a heads up to you out there. They say that their son, Sam, was a straight A student and already had his eyes set on college. Ray and Micah, back to you in the studio. I'm sure a lot of eyes open here. Patrick, thank you.